I'm going just, down. Best of luck, Mika. You got it. Me saying you're going down and Leo being like, best of luck. <laughs> okay, well then you are going down as well. I will meet the vibe. Try not to panic, inevitably panic, and go from there. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna black out. Like if that makes oh, sense. Sure. Like I feel like I'm gonna hear something and all knowledge of anything will just go out of my brain. I'm gonna kick your butt, Jess. <laughs> You, you know just what? I'm gonna try my darndest, and I just hope you don't trip on a cat. There's my. Uh, <laughs> that is a very likely uh, outcome. Be kind. Your niece is involved in this. Listen. At dawn, we ride. Listen. All is fair in love and war in basketball. Whatever. I love that movie, though. <laughs> Eight booktubers are battling out in pairs in a scavenger hunt. They'll be tasked with finding 10 items, and the first in each pair to find one will get a point. This is Booktuber Battle. Okay, so round one. For this one, it'll make sense when I say it. If you can't do covers, I will allow formats. So like hardback or paperback for this one. But round one is two books, from the same series that have mismatched cover designs or formats. You have to tell me if this counts. These are both in the Penguin Clothbound Classics line, but they don't have the same covers. Mm, I, I think it's the same cover design. Like it's the same, I mean like a series where the covers have been redesigned halfway through. Oh, I feel like even if I had all my books, I don't know, cause I get rid of those cause it bothers me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do have that. Mm. Okay, yeah, I do have that. Mara's gonna. So I, have I have Fugitive Telemetry in hardback <gasps> and Network Effect in paperback. Yep, that counts. You've got the point, Mara. You've got it. I really don't think, I don't even, because I cannot stand non matching series. <laughs> Girl, I'm with you. I am with you. I hate it so much. Ooh. Oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. She cheated. She cheated. Play your dreams. And then the devil before the devil breaks you. Oh god, god, god. Oh, you get this so stressful. Wait, where do I go? I don't have a lot of series. Oh my gosh, no, I I know I have a bunch. Why am I like panicking right now? Hold on. Oh god. Oh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Wait, does this, would this count? Ah, I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> okay. I've got one. I have this one. It's air fire. It's like a hardcover. Yeah. But then I have the mini version. It's a tricky one because it's like the same cover, but because it is different formats, I'm going to give it to Mika because Mika's back first. <laughs> uh. um, oh, oh, oh. The only series I own. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> you got it! Round two is a reading snack. A oh, reading snack? Hold on. Does boba tea count? This is what I was drinking while I was reading earlier. I will take it, Mara. I will take it. Did she already get a reading snack? She got a reading snack. How dare she? It's a drink, but I feel like it's enough, you know, halfway. I've got a snack. I've got a snack. It's got pearls. I'm, I'm chewing the pearls while yeah. I'm reading. So. Yeah. I feel like it just passes. I might just have a pretzel for all my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. A reading snack? Oh, my God. <laughs> like little dutch biscuits with how uh, they're like sort of speculas i know it's speak english well it's covered in chocolate as well it's called paper yeah. noter 
Oh boy, I do not snack while I read, but we're gonna try, and I think I heard. Sap already made it back. Oreos. Oh my god, you were so fast! <laughs> Put your bikes. Oh no, I hear things. You had them by the side. You're like, she's gonna ask me about food. And I <laughs> round three. Okay, I have to trust you on this one. So don't lie to me. I'm putting my faith in you. So round three is a book you've put on multiple TBRs but haven't read. <laughs> we have to introduce you to Shell. <laughs> oh man. Amari in the Great Game. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but I. <laughs> Still have not read this yet. Ooh, 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 jeez. Right here, right here. <laughs> it's uh, Zora Neale Hurston, the completed series, stories. Almost done. Okay. Addie LaRue. No! <laughs> I had to grab the French edition, but it's this book. Oh, I know the right one, but it's covered. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, where is it, where is it, where is it? Ah! This is so chaotic! Oh no, where'd it go, where'd it go? Frankenstein. I say I'm gonna read this every October, and <laughs> I said this year, if I don't read it this October, people can unsubscribe from me, <laughs> and I can not read it. Oh, oh no. no! Just don't tell them. Maybe they won't, maybe they won't realize. <laughs> I totally read it. <laughs> <laughs> Round four is something that makes reading more comfortable? A pillow for me. My, my chair? Okay. Got it. <laughs> I, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got that one, I got that one. Oh God. <gasps> I've got a pillow. <laughs> I've got my, my, my build bear. Oh, Miko was first. Miko was first. A pillow. Oh. <laughs> Round five is a book written or originally written in a language other than English. What is that? Yasunari Kawabata, Snow Country. Dang. There you go. Right there. You go. <laughs> ha! Right here. No, no, I just, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. I was going, there's, there's a volume of manga on the floor. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, I've got one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is for Fluke the Heart by Rima Ori, and she's a Dutch fantasy author. Um, oh, no, oh no, I know I own things like this. Oh, I have a lot of these, but I don't know what any of them are. Um, I know, I know I'm scared. Hold on. I just read one, didn't I? I think I did. What was it, what was it, what was it? Okay. okay. Oh, 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 oh! The hole. Well, hey, yay, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Round six is something that helps you read in the dark. Mm. Mm. Well, Ooh. a candle? Yeah, a low candle. Okay. Here go my lamp right here. D no, Br like Bree's literally in a smaller space. This is a this is an unfair advantage. <gasps> wait, wait, my ring. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Leo, was Leo was first. I literally put my Kindle like on my bed because I knew there was gonna be a question like this. Yeah. I can't find it. Oh no! I can't find it. It's like under my cover somewhere. I probably like uh, it when I got my bear. It got lost in the blankets. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna have to go so far for this one. A Kindle. Well done. <laughs> oh, my God. oh no, I think she already got it, but I gotta get it just to have it. I came ready for this. It's a reading light, but it's all the way in my bedroom, which is all the way on the other side of the house. Oh, I think she was done a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> a reading light. I love Hi. it. Round seven. This one's been the trickiest round so far that people have been struggling with the most. So. 
Round seven is a book published in 2012. Oh. Hmm. That is hard. Okay. I mean, I know I have one. Where it is, is the question. Oh, I wonder if one of these Mariana Zapata's was published in 2012. That seems possible. 2012. Let's see if one of these boxes has. Let's see. Okay, 2015. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, maybe. Maybe this. Checking out the Duchess War might be that. <laughs> the Duchess War by Courtney Milan, which was published in 2012. Well, hey, you got it! I heard you get it. I was at like 2015. <laughs> you heard it. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then the next one I had was 2007. I was like, how dare you? Ooh, I know. I got it. I got it. Oh! Got it. I 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 got it. And the only reason why I have this one is because I literally just filmed a video about it, published in 2012. Dang! Um, hold on. <laughs> Well, who remembers the years their books have been published in? Like, I don't... I feel like I have a vivid memory of this being published in 2012. Oh, dang it! 2011! Hold on. 2010. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe in the next book in the series. I'm, like, shaking right now. Like, I can't even turn the pages. Oh, I don't even have any old books. <laughs> old. 2012. <laughs> Why did the series jump from 2011 to 2014? I'm gonna cry. The, the problem is also that there's books like in random places all over my house. <laughs> <gasps> Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Wait, this version was published in 2012. <laughs> you got it! No! 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, um, 2012. 2019. I feel like all my books are from 2015 and up, honestly. 2015. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, if you are struggling, I will allow one year either side. Oh my gosh, I just had one before then. Oh my gosh, I just had one before. Wait, I think I just had one too, but I don't remember which one it was. I'm gonna submit this to the jury. Okay. We may need some investigation. I got the Night Circus, which oh, is okay. first Anchor Books edition, July 2012. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Nice. Oh, my God. oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this one's a fun one. So for this round, I need you to pick up a random book. You seal your fate with what book you choose. It's not my fault what book you choose. So pick carefully. Go find an item that's on that book cover. A man? <laughs> um. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, well, okay, would like something red count? I have a helmet and a, a date, a date, a tool, a daisy. I don't even know what flower this is. Okay, I've, I've got a chestnut and a man. I don't have a man here and I don't eat chestnuts. You don't have any chestnuts with you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you better find a chestnut, Mara. <sighs> Well, oh, wait, wait, well, no, that won't work. I don't have a helmet. Andrew has hats. I have a hat. Does a hat work? Is it, okay, this is a helmet. I have no helmet. Can it be a hat? Yeah, I'll take something like a hat, something that resembles Look, it's something. it's a military hat, so maybe it's kind of like a helmet. <laughs> Yeah, I I think that I think just wins. There's yeah. no. I, 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 <laughs> I yeah. was thinking there's not a man in there. <laughs> what? 
All right, I got it. Yeah, you got that one. You had it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Do you see the item that is on this book cover? <laughs> There's a girl on top of it. Does that count? Because, well, I'm a girl. Uh, you need to find something. Look at her, you know. Okay, wait, no, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, I've got it! <laughs> well, the, the, the person on the cover is wearing shoes, and this is a shoe. <laughs> I will take it, I will take it. Oh no. A house? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What about water? I will take it! Woo! <laughs> oh, this one tests how well do you know each other. So, round nine is a book you think your opponent should read. Oh. I mean, that can be simple. I want her to have good channel content, and I think <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> If she hated Allie Hazelwood, she will hate this even more. Oh my god, no. <laughs> but I like what I'm on the brain. You, I like I'm looking at the view. I'm giving you the views, Jess. Okay. Um. Got what, got it. Ashley was first. Damn. <laughs> I told you I wasn't reading that. No, you did not. I did. No, you did I not. Did. I told you it was a reading dinosaur in the sanctuary. No, you did not. Stop lying on this kid. Stop lying, Bree. <laughs> you heard it here on Channel 6 News. Bree's just trying to get out of you getting the point. She's trying to get out of that. No, <laughs> Bree's trying to get out of it. I'm, I'm not trying to get out of it, but I was just saying I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Ow. Oh, my God. Um, um... Okay, um, I've got one. <laughs> already? This is Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. Oh my god, I hope you haven't read it. Okay, this is YA Fantasy, and it's so good, and it's about time travel, but it really gave me some of the Sarah J Maas-esque vibes, but Ooh. then in a different, like, jacket and time travel, and I love time travel. I actually do own it. You do? I do, so I'll read it now. Ashley's read so many books. Oh no. Um, I don't think she's read this one. I have it. Yay! <laughs> and this is the final round now. And if you've seen it before, you know the last round is usually not very nice. <laughs> so I apologize in advance for what this round is, but the people wanted it. So <laughs> round 10 is go Dress up as your favorite book villain. The the person who comes to mind of someone I truly fucking hated is Kyle fucking Haven from uh, Robin Hobbs' Live Ship trilogy. Okay, you can't watch me put on clothes, but just know that I'm in here. He's a pirate, so I feel like some kind of pirate outfit is probably what we should do. On. I'm working on <laughs> I'm working on a, a fairy shirt I'm sewing one and it's not in it's not done yet I've just been working on the pattern but I have linen for it so I'm gonna try to drape that Andrew, I need your clothes. so I've got like a like a scarfy thing I can do And then, like, also don't judge my linen, guys. I've not pressed it. I'm I'm him caught in a in a sail. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay. I have jeans on. Yeah. And his wife beater because he's a piece of crap, but his name is Barrow. Mm -hmm. From Jade City, and he's oh. Like of the earth, so I feel like he would wear a wife beater, maybe. This is on backwards. <laughs> yeah, I have jeans on, I promise. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> it's too, oh. too Okay. <laughs> what? I'm already there. I'm about to get Bree that point, because I would have to go all the way upstairs. 
<laughs> to get the clothes. I am the lady from Ray Bear because she had like, because of the fan. I got on the Afrocentric type of fan. That lady was, she was me. Oh, was good. Great. I forfeit my point on that one. She was stylish. You know, I'm just saying. Hi to my whole love, Ola. I have no idea. Oh, in the witch's hat. It works. It works. I love it. Light I up. It. Light up, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> she did that. Dang it! <laughs> Um, I'm a witch. Wait, from what book? Oh, I have to think about that. Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. I am. Um, um I broke. I think I literally broke my camera. It's not working anymore. No. I'm. I'm no. She's oh. not. I'm Amarantha from A Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm just gonna turn it off and on again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I usually do. <laughs> Oh god, it's working again! Yay! Oh, it's, Co it's Cora from uh, Witches of Ash and Ruin. Okay. But, I, I mean, like, I wasn't done for, you know, like, this is, like, low-key cheating, though. No, but you were back first, like, I, you were back first, and then you were about to say who you were, and then you got distracted by your camera. So I feel like it's only fair. Oh, no. Oh, she's gonna have a villain so much faster than I am. Okay, hold on. She's an old lady, so I need to find old lady attire. Please hold. If I wear this as a shawl, does it look like an old lady? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I forgot the book, but it'll be okay. I'll just tell them what it is. <laughs> that. Does this give old lady to you? It does. Yay! <laughs> Um, I went with Mary from Mary and Awakening of Terror by Nat Cassidy, who's like kind of oh, a yeah. villain, you know? I love they never learn and Scarlet like murders men. So oh, yeah. I feel like she would wear like, I don't remember what she wore in the book, but I feel like she's got to sneak around, you know? Yeah, you're giving me those vibes. Like, yeah. The winner with six points to four is Mara. Mara won! <laughs> A true, a true queen. I no, bow no, no. in reverence. Really? Very neck and neck. Yes, it was Yeah. Bree won with six points and Ashley had four. <laughs> it was that much too. I just gave up on that last one. <laughs> you can't say that publicly on Beyonce. Yeah, it's, know like, part it's, of like, it. it's like, oh, I handed you the win. I know. <laughs> Get back. Well, however people want to interpret that. However you may want to interpret it. I was one fair and square. In the end, the winner with six points is Leo and Mika had the ball. <laughs> the winner with seven points to three is Ashley. <laughs> I had no clue who was gonna win because I did indeed black out the entire time and had no idea what the points were. <laughs> oh, I knew you were winning. <laughs> so that was Booktuber Battle, the latest episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's been a really long time since I did an episode of Booktuber Battle because they do take so long to edit, but they're one of my favorite videos to make. So I loved making this and I really hope that you had fun watching it as well. I want to say such a big thank you to all the booktubers who are in this video. They are all booktubers who I love, who I love watching. If you're not subscribed to them, please go check them out down below. All of their channels will be linked and I think they're all amazing. So I'm sure a lot of them you are already subscribed to, but if you're not, please go check out their channels, check out some of their videos, put some of their videos on your watch later and watch them. I really want to thank them for taking the time out of their day to make this video with me. And if you're new here, you can subscribe to me as well. <laughs> I hate promoting myself, but... <laughs> Um, you know, if you're new here, I make themed reading vlogs, I have a TBR game, I make booktube videos. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this, please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure you give the video a like and leave a comment down below because it helps me out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Literally my favorite video to make. I love it so much. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very soon in another one.
Bye.